you want us to bring in the boats first, then tuck them in and then have the float brought in, or is the float already okay. there over? For all we want in here right now is the first two boats, and hold off on the others for, uh, for uh, further instructions over. Okay, so the first two boats, you mean the 365 and the 40, over? 365 is passed on uh, behind us, and then the 40 comes next, over. So. Okay, I'll send the 40 in now, over. Yeah, go, uh, no, go ahead, go straight. Straight in. Against the main bulkhead, but then you have to take that dog leg. Just don't go between the two floats. Are they ready for us? Yeah, you're, they're ready for you. Cool well, there goes one. One more. Yeah, but they're supposed to come in right after. You guys were already in. Really? So uh, did Jerry get in there though against the dock? So you just can't you can't squeeze through them then, I guess. Huh? Okay, so uh, we're getting close. So tell us the lane we're going to go. We're going to go in that far lane over there by the seawall. Is that our? Uh... Yes, yes, over the seawall, and then we're cutting in through this channel over here. I see. So once we get all the boats in there, get them all secured and fendered off, then we have to get a show to actually put the carpets down, get the tents up, all of our displays down onto the docks, which is the, the podiums, the tables, the brochure racks, the, all that kind of stuff, get them all set up around. That takes about a day. Usually on Wednesday, the day before the show, is when the decorators come in to do the interior. And most of the props have already been put on the boats individually, so we have all these bags of cushions and quilts and stuff down below. And we got to set up all the shore power systems. The boats don't have the bimini's yet or the awnings like on the other boats you have to set up the sun awnings. We try to keep the boats a little dry and be able to talk to people while it's still drizzling out. And when it gets hot, we can have a little shade. Well, once we get in that area in there, usually the guy setting up the floats will have us jockey the boats into position while they slip the floats behind us. The floats are where actually the entrance is going to be and the tents are set up. Well, tell me a bit about Trade Day. That's kind of a special day here at the Brown, Trade VIP Day. Right, well, that's a day when usually the docks are not as crowded, uh, but then you, the people coming in usually just specifically come in for that day so they can spend more time on the boats that they want to look at and a little more serious time one-on-one uh, -on -one with the salespeople. Um, there are also a lot of events happening throughout the different displays that day for the people that do attend VIP Day so they get a little special treatment. Uh, it's just a less crowded day usually, but it, again, it is usually a day that it's going to rain on the show, so <laughs> you got to be serious. A lot of the foul weather gear comes out, and that's when you know it's a sailor. The 325 Blue Four is in the Cruising World Boat of the Year contest. So they'll come during the show, they usually bring a panel of judges, they come through the boat, judge the boat for all the details, they spend about an hour on it, uh, figuring out what the boat is like for its intended purpose. It's a cruiser, well, how is it set up for cruising? If it's a racer cruiser, then how is that set up? Uh, we're back again here with uh, Harold Di Rosario, the distributor for Do Four Yachts. Things are a little different today, Harold, than they were when we brought your boat in. It sure is. Yeah, so uh, what do you think about this first rainy public day of the show? Well, it's, it's an Annapolis show. We have to have one of these at least, and by tomorrow we hope it'll get a little nicer and sunnier. Uh, boats are all holding up fine. They're designed for these kind of conditions, so well, this that is a, helps. This is a true <laughs> test. So There you go. And I, take, I, I would think the... Uh, the potential buyers that are coming out today are, are not just tire kickers. I mean, they're out here looking, seeing how these boats look in the wet. Yeah, no, they look serious. You can see the foul weather gears, the proper gear. I always like to have a nice wet day, at least one wet day at the boat show. It seems yeah. like it really, you know, it, it brings out the sailors. It brings everyone's in their follies, and uh, it's a lot of color. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little bit different than the nice sunny days. Harold, thank you very much, and thank you very, very much for Duke for allowing us to be here on your floating dock in the middle of this storm and share this beautiful place with all your great boats. So this is Tori Salvi with the Sailing Channel on the Dew 4 dock at the 37th Annual U.S. Sailboat Show.